Hello, the objective of this hack is to build a smart bot on the Microsoft bot framework using a community edition Visual Studio C Sharp, Louis Natural Language Processing, and to make a bot which can have a human-like interaction with the user. In this scenario, the user is trying to find out some transactional information. The bot is going to ask the user some very simple questions so that it can navigate to the document. The first thing that the bot asks is, what's the username? This helps the bot to build a very personalized and interactive dialogue. The user also feels like as if he or she is talking to a human. Once the bot knows the user, it asks if he or she wants to proceed with the dialogue further. In this case, the user really wants to proceed. Next, the bot asks for some specific information, like in this case, it wants to know what kind of application it needs to go to retrieve the information. The user selects for option dynamics in this case. Then the bot wants to know what kind of order he or she is looking for. Is it a sales order, purchasing order, or is it a customer or a vendor information? But then the user remember that he has selected a wrong item and he wants to go back. So he asks the, boss to, asks the bot to go back and the bot presents the user with a previous screen. This time, the user selects SAP. As usual, the bot asks what kind of document is the user is looking for, and the user selects a purchase order. Then the bot asks for the PO number. This time, user enters a purchase order number, and the bot presents the final confirmation screen before proceeding to the query and comes back, but wait the user realized that it is not a purchase order number that he's looking for, but it is a sales order. So he responds no to the bot, and the bot asks the user to select the right choice. And this time, the user selects a sales order. The bot again prompts the user with a final confirmation. And the user at this point of time can say yes, and the task of the bot becomes to gather all the data back from the backend system and present the results in more human fashion.